hi out there. Hi, Bumblebee. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. I come on every Sunday and do a uh, what's sold from the week before video. I sell, I'm a reseller and I sell on eBay and Poshmark and a little bit on Mercari. I had sales on all three platforms. Not many, but but a, an equal amount on eBay and Poshmark. Usually it's more on eBay, but Poshmark really stepped up this week, especially at the beginning of the week. I had a lot of sales all of a sudden at the beginning of this week. And then they sort of just died. I don't know. It, it sort of is acting the same way as uh, eBay acts sometimes. That's how eBay is too. I'll get like groups of sales and then they quit and then another group. I don't know how that works, but that's what happens to me. Uh, I had a lot of health issues this week. Did I go to the doctor? No. <laughs> uh, last, I think it was last Sunday. I was on here last Sunday, and I think this happened in the evening of last Sunday. I was putting away my dishes from the sink, put in, putting them in the dishwasher, and like loading the dishwasher. When I stand at the sink, my dishwasher is behind me. So I'm going from here to there, like spinning all the time, back and forth. All of a sudden, when I was at the sink, I think I had a, a vertigo attack. It was different than just being dizzy. This was, I didn't know, up from down for a couple seconds. It just lasted maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds short, but it really scared me. I thought I was going down. I grabbed, I had to grab onto something to keep keep from hitting the floor. Uh, I never had one of those before. I have no idea what happened. It scared me to death. So naturally my blood pressure went way up. Uh, yeah. Hi, Estella. Yeah. And that along with Michelle telling me all her problems about her blood pressure, I think that's sort of keeping my blood pressure a little higher than it normally is. Not real high, but higher, certainly higher than normal. Uh, anyway, that happened to me, and I didn't really feel well the next two, next two days. I didn't feel well at all. I don't know. I couldn't say what was wrong except I had a terrible sinus headache you know just above here and under my eyes in your sinuses had a terrible sinus headache and uh, there isn't really any good sinus headache medicine that doesn't increase my heart rate and that I don't like to take like I can't take Sudafed so I just took some uh, aspirin or some Tylenol. Uh, I tried some ibuprofen. But the headache wouldn't go away. It got less, but yeah. Yeah, so I've had this headache. It's, it's sort of just a regular headache now. It was so intense that I thought maybe this isn't a sinus headache because I wasn't congested at all. Don't you love getting my health reports. Uh, but I was thinking maybe maybe it's a migraine. Although I usually get an aura before a migraine and I didn't. But I don't know. This headache lasted like three days. At the same time, I don't know last week did I tell you about the uh, my dog had gotten a little fox that then crawled back under the front porch. 
I don't know exactly what day I started to smell the dead animal smell. Uh, could have been Sunday, could have been Monday, but it was like three days. It started to smell, and you can't mistake that smell. It got so bad. It was three days. It got so bad. I was going around here. I had Vicks shoved up my nose, <laughs> you know, like they do in the police reports <laughs> and the police uh, stories on TV. Uh, I was about to call my son and tell him I was going to come over there and stay for a few days. That's how bad it was. I mean, I couldn't, if it had gotten worse in the last day, which I think is Wednesday, it stopped, sort of stopped a little bit, or Tuesday, maybe. And uh, it got a little better. I sent from, for Amazon, uh, you can send for things for that problem. Uh, it's actually little bags of, I think it's like deactivated charcoal, something. It is for dead animal smell. It's not just for uh, like mouse, mice or something. It's for bigger things. So I sent for two of those and they, they're not cheap. So I spent like $50 and sent for two of these. And one came, I threw it under the porch. And uh, the day that my dog walker came, it wasn't so bad anymore. And she went out there and tried to rake under there to try to get something out. And the rake wasn't long enough to get to the back. And anyway, when the other bag of charcoal stuff came, I threw it under. And now there's, I don't think there's any smell. You know, you get used to something and then you can't really tell if it's really gone or not. But it got less and less. And uh, I'm sure there's no odor now. It was, it was horrible. Horrible. So that didn't help with how I was feeling and my headache and everything else. So I haven't had a really good week. <laughs> but my blood pressure has come down somewhat and my, uh, my daughter has stopped calling so often. And, you know, after I had that vertigo, I went and laid down on the couch and I called my son right away because I didn't know what was happening. And I, he, he stayed on the phone with me for like an hour. And, Kitty, you're not going get, to get any more treats. No. So, I don't know. But I haven't had any of that since. And my headache is turned into sort of just a regular mild headache now. I still have it, though. It's not so bad I can't sleep at night. I mean, it sort of goes away at night or when I lay down. So I'm not sure. I have no idea. I hope I don't have a sinus headache. It was so bad I didn't want to drive. I didn't want to drive on the highway. So I canceled my dentist appointment, which isn't hard for me to do. You know, I hate the dentist. Um, I canceled it. It's it was shoved back for a couple of weeks. Your your kitty here's my kitty. Yeah. Uh she wants her treats. Um uh, so that's what's been happening around here. Oh, and I I have an abundance, an overabundance of tomatoes. All my tomatoes are getting ripe. I don't know what to do with them all. They're, I can't eat this many tomatoes. I don't can. I never learned to can. So I am, the most I'm doing is I, the ripe ones I'm slicing up into slices. I'm putting them on a cookie sheet. I put parchment paper on a cookie sheet and then put them in the freezer. Downstairs I have a little freezer. And when they freeze up hard, I throw them in a bag like ice cubes. 
that's the only thing I know what to do. I know you can uh, skin them and make them. I haven't done that. I just did the easiest thing. Uh, yeah, I never learned to can. Uh, let's see here. What did you say? You probably don't want to hear me say this. Uh-oh. But you now make may have naturally boosted your immunity to COVID. I thought of that. I thought of maybe this was a COVID thing. The tests that I have are so outdated now that uh, I don't want to use them to test myself because they the, uh, it wouldn't mean anything, whether it's negative or positive, because it's too old. I'd have to go and get tested. But. I have no upper respiratory thing except I had the sinus headache. So I don't know. Anyway. Oh, uh, I think I covered some of this. Uh, all I have to say is thank goodness for my dog. I would be so upset and nervous and lonesome if it wasn't for my dog. I could never live without a dog. <laughs> I could cook them down to tomato sauce and freeze that. Yes, I may have to do that on some of them. Uh, because, I mean, I have this huge basket, wicker basket. I should have taken a picture of it. And... Um, if I blanch them, take the skins off, I could cook them down. Uh, yeah, I may do that. Hi, Diane. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, let me get to my sales here. I'll share my screen and show you what I uh, sold. N nine on eBay and nine on Poshmark equal and one on Mercari. So not many at all for a whole week, but at least it's something. Oh, this COVID has become much less severe to just what you're saying, you're feeling. Oh, well, maybe it is. Well, yes, maybe then I did boost it up a little bit. Uh, I don't go anywhere. I, well, I mean, I do go like to Target and once in a great while, but I don't see many people. So let me share my screen here. Okay, the first thing is a shirt by Chico's. It's size two, which is a large, I believe. It was like a crinkle fabric uh, in, in a, a char sort of a charcoal gray black uh, color. Had tab roll sleeves, and I've had this a while. It sold for $13.91, uh, and it went to New York. New York, New York. Uh, everything has shipping attached to it, too. So with shipping, they paid $19.76. Now, I always make, if something isn't over 13 ounces, which, of course, the a little blouse isn't, I'll make like a dollar because they pay like about a dollar more than I, than I have to pay. So... If you add a dollar more onto my thirteen ninety one, that's sort of more what I make. Uh, but I have that all figured out at the end. I added things up this week. So next thing is a pair of 
pants, uh, like career pants, by investments, uh, women's 12 long in this tan color. Uh, these sold for $18, best offer that I took. These weighed over a pound, believe it or not, and so they went uh, priority shipping. I put them in a padded flat rate. Now, I'm not quite sure with this new advantage uh, that took the place of first class. And you can send up to 70 pounds. I have to look into this more. Because I'm so used to, if it's over a pound, I just send it priority. So I'm not sure if that's the best thing to do for the, for the buyer. Uh, yeah, if anybody knows. Like, if something's like a little over a pound, and I still send it, can I still send it uh, advantage, or whatever that's called? Uh, ground advantage and would it be cheaper than priority probably anyway I think they had I had put on there though priority and I didn't give them a choice so that's what they chose so yeah they uh, paid $29.47 after shipping and uh, I probably made another dollar on top of the $18 that uh, they bought these for. Where's my arrow? Okay. Ah, I have sold a lip gloss, which I've had quite a while. It's all sealed up, so I hope it's okay. I didn't see any uh, date on it. I tried to go through all my makeup and health care things that I had in there and anything uh, that isn't allowed anymore, uh, like cough syrup and that you're not allowed to sell anymore, or anything that was outdated, I just threw away and took off. But this Revlon Super look, uh, Lustrous lustrous Lip Gloss sold for uh, $6, best offer. I gladly accepted that, and it went to Las Vegas, Nevada. <clears throat> this, this is from like a bridal store. Uh, it's a chiffon maxi jumpsuit. It's by JJ's House of Fashion or something like that. It's for bridal clothes, and... and uh, you know, real dressy things. I've had this forever. I just never put it on because I just didn't think it would ever sell. Well, I was wrong. It sold like two weeks after I put it on. So that's how much I know. I didn't put it on for very much either. I had it for $24.99, but it was in the 30% off sale that I had all week. And I had a 50% off sale on the clearance section. So this was uh, sold for $17.49 plus shipping. Uh, so they paid $24.70 and it went to Tribuco, Tribuco Canyon, California. <clears throat> I sold another purse, Fossil. Uh, black leather, crossbody. Uh, last week I sold, was it last week I sold a purse or two weeks ago? That pers uh, person wanted a refund, okay? She sent a note and showed pictures of the strap, had a lot of flaking on it. I didn't catch that at all. That was my fault. And I wrote her a note that uh, said just discard it. You don't need to send it back, and I refunded her right away because uh, that was bad that I didn't catch that. She was very thankful that I did that, so I'm hoping she uh, doesn't leave me a bad review. Uh, this one was in good condition. <laughs> uh, black leather, but the strap was like a fabric or a, like a 
I don't know what you call that. Uh, it wasn't leather. This was a, like a fabric. But it was a nice, really soft black leather purse. It sold for $15, best offer that I took. And it went to Gallatin, Tennessee. Uh, this is by The Limited. Uh, they used to have stores in the mall. I don't know if they still do or not, since I haven't been in a mall in years. Uh, it was a fine knit, uh, but it's a sweater. It had this Eiffel Tower. And this was knit right into the uh, right into the sweater. I thought this would sell pretty, you know, like soon when I got it. Uh, it was 100% merino wool. It was really nice. But I've had this well over a year. And uh, I finally accepted an offer of $12. Now, I think the first offer that she sent was $6. And I went back at $12. And she came back at 7 We went, went back and forth until she realized I wasn't going to change my mind. So she did finally pay the $12 for it. And uh, this went to Kennesaw, Kennesaw, Georgia. Okay, a pair of Banana Republic jogger pants. They had zipper pockets like cargo pockets, an elastic at the ankles and a tie at the waist. These sold for $13.29. And they went to Schenectady, New York. On plus shipping, of course. Okay, this is a uh, like a boho type shirt. It was new with tags by Roxy. Uh, long sleeve, it was sort of cropped a little bit. And it was a size large. And that print was called the Havana print. It sold for $13.77, which is an offer I sent out to watchers. And it went to Tallahassee, Tallahassee uh, Florida. <clears throat> and this I sold last night. This is just like the shirt I wear a lot. <laughs> and mine is also Old Navy. I have two of them, but one of them is Old Navy. Uh, chambray long sleeve shirt uh, made of that soft lyocell. Uh, yeah, this sold for $13.77. Oh, that was our sheet. This sold for $14.77, an offer I sent out. Went to Sugarland, Texas. Plus shipping. Okay, that's what I sold on eBay. Now, Poshmark. This is that, uh, I got this in one of the boxes, denim boxes, Lil D, Lil D denim. It's on a hanger. I didn't think these, it's like, a, it's a jegging. I didn't think these would sell her very much at all. Uh, but they sold on Poshmark for $23. Uh, they were a size small. So I received $18.40 for those. I didn't open them up. I just left them like that and, and photographed it that way. Uh, this is a little Ann Taylor uh, factory, though. Petite tweed pencil skirt. It sold for $19. And it went to North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I received fifteen dollars and twenty cents for that. It was a wool blend, I think. Yeah, wool blend. It had a zipper in the back. This is a shirt by BDG, uh, button front shirt in this paisley pattern, blue pattern. Uh, this sold for twenty three dollars. There was a shipping discount though that. So I received $16.38, and this went to San Jose, California. 
<clears throat> pair of Billy, Billabong uh, Bermuda shorts. These are men's. Billabong makes a lot of surfwear and uh, surfing shorts, board shorts, but these were a regular pair of shorts. And uh, these sold for $20, went to El Prado, New Mexico. And I made $16 on those. Next thing is this cute Talbot's uh, denim skirt. This hat, Bumblebee, you may have given that to me in one of your boxes that you put nautical things in because this is the skirt that had nautical buttons that was really cute. Let me see if I can show a button. Yeah, they all had little anchors on. I love buttons. <laughs> so, yeah, this sold for $29, and it went to Prattville, Alabama, and I received $23.20. That could have been my biggest sale. As far as the amount goes, uh, here's a shacket, a heavy flannel shacket in this sort of uh, yellow and black buffalo check type thing by Levi's. This sold for $26. It was a size small. Uh, and it went to Wound Socket, Rhode Island. Wound Socket. <laughs> anyway, this, uh, I, I made $20.80 on that. Okay. This was mine that I had gotten a long time ago. Uh, this was good size. This is, is, as you can see here, this is like, like two, a little over two by two this was, two and, a, two and a half by two. I don't know what I put on there, but uh, this had little tiny petite point or like petty point uh, needle point on it. It was really pretty. I've had this a long time. I don't know. It's vintage because it came from my jewelry box but uh definitely vintage so i sold that for fifteen dollars and i made twelve dollars on that and it went to perry georgia next thing is by j jill it's a uh, pair of uh, chino pants five pocket chino pants in a boot cut these sold for eighteen dollars it went to Toana, Virginia, and I made $14.40 on those. And the last thing on Poshmark, this is funny. This MNG, I think I got this in a box, uh, was a quarter zip mock neck heavy sweater. Uh, this was like new without tags. It sold for $20, and I got $16 out of that, and it went to Pompton Plains, New Jersey. Now, the day after this sold, I got a, a note from on eBay from a girl that says, is this still available? I wanted to make an offer, but I thought the shipping was too much. And I said, no, no, it you know, it just sold yesterday on Poshmark. But uh, it's funny how when when something sits and sits, this is, I've had this over six months, I'm sure. And then all of a sudden, two people want it from different platforms. Kind of crazy. But anyway, it sold. I made $16. So I made one Mercari sale. A pair of Massimo Bermuda shorts. This was in a junior size nine. 
sold for $13. It's hard to sell junior things. I think they probably came in a box and uh, they had a frayed hem. And I think I made, I don't have a slip for this. I think I made $10 and something on this. Yeah, $10.61 I made on these. Now, let me come back to you here. Because I wrote down, I didn't show it on the screen, but I did write down some surprising sales. Six in the chat. Hi, everybody. Yes, the nautical button. I thought they were. That was from you. Yeah, I haven't had any more shots. <laughs> I may go get my regular flu shot, though. CVS keeps calling me and saying they have it in. It's time for the flu shot. I get one every year, so I don't know. Okay, here's the sales report. eBay, nine sold. Uh, gross was $181.73. I netted $147.33. So average selling price on eBay was $20.19. Now that's down 25%. Uh, I don't know from when. I, it must be from last, last week. I don't know what they're comparing that to. Uh, on Poshmark, I grossed $193 more, more than eBay. I netted 152.38, close but more, and my sale uh, average selling price was almost a dollar and a half more, twenty-one dollars and forty-four cents. Mercari, I told you, was thirteen and netted ten dollars and sixty-one cents. So total for everything, my net amount that went into the bank. $310.32. I think in the past, when I was telling the numbers, I think when I would say the net, I think just on eBay, I think the net amount was wrong because I was getting more money into the account than I was saying. So, which is good. But they were taking off shipping. Now, they weren't something was messed up there with the shipping uh the buyer pays shipping they shouldn't really take that off so i don't know i never did try, figure it out and with the headache i'm not going on the computer much at all so yeah i have five more things drafted that i can just going to put on tomorrow but I haven't, uh, I've tried to sort of stay off the computer uh, much because it does, uh, doesn't help a headache. Yeah. So if that, if this is a COVID thing, I should have worn a mask when I went to Target. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, um, well, I don't know. Maybe I should go get tested and see if I had it. That would be interesting. So that's what I made this week. That's what I sold. And I could have left this for two weeks it's not that much but uh, I haven't talked to anybody all week <laughs> well I have on the phone my daughter and my son my poor son gets the calls you know he doesn't exactly know why I'm calling but he'll sit and talk with me uh, so he says they're coming out next Saturday 
And because uh, I told them the pumpkins are ready. The vines are dying off now. And they're all nice, bright orange color. There's one out there that rotted out on the bottom. So that one, they're so heavy, I can't even lift them. So I think I'm going out there, take my little garden cart, and maybe chop it in half and then put it in the cart so I can throw it into the chickens because they will be ecstatic. That's what I'm doing with my tomatoes, the ones that either die on my counter or get rotten or it's too soft and the ones that are getting too soft on the vine because they're not, I did not cut my vines. I did not prop my vines up very good this year. I didn't prune them like I should have in the spring or when they started to grow. They got way too big and a lot of tomatoes are now lying on the ground. Well, that makes them rot. So those tomatoes, the chickens are also getting. So they're getting quite a diet. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. No worries. COVID is way more catchy and way less serious. Yeah, I hope. Uh, well, I must say that here's what COVID did to my life. I was never one to stay in and not go anyplace, but COVID made me do that. Also, having a dog that is afraid to stay by herself and I feel horrible when I leave her. Both of those things made me like a hermit. <laughs> and I still now, well, now I don't feel so good, but uh, before I stayed in way more than I used to. And now that I had this, uh, problem with my headache and everything. I've I've watched more. This probably doesn't help either. I've watched more movies on Netflix and YouTube and wherever I can find one than I've ever watched. I don't I'm not I wasn't never one to sit on the couch and watch TV. Uh, but I'm not doing much on eBay. I'm not letting it be number one anymore. And uh, so I'm not getting upset when I don't do everything that I was supposed to. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. My inventory is now down to a little over 2,500 and that's down from 3,200. So it's slowly coming down. Let me see what you said here. Matt's masks have been shown not to work as particles of COVID are, are so very small. I'd only wear if you were sneezing and coughing. Right. I think it just helps you from spreading it. I don't think it helps you from getting it. Yeah, but that's what we thought in the beginning. That's why I wore a mask. I didn't go anywhere without a mask. I made one, the, not last Christmas, but like the Christmas before of 2021, whenever the COVID year was. Uh, when the kids came over for Christmas Eve, I made, I made everybody wear a mask. In fact, our family picture, we are all in a mask. You can tell what year that was. Oh, seven in the chat. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's taken me, how many, uh, doesn't show here. I don't know how many subscribers I have. I'm not even to 600 yet. It's taken me like four years. <laughs> so please, if you're a new one and haven't subscribed, please just subscribe. Yeah. I'd like to get a thousand before I bite the bullet here. 
I should get Nasacort if I haven't yet. I have never tried that. How is that on your blood pressure and your heart rate? A lot of those have the epi stuff in it. And that's what I don't want to take. Uh, I'll have to look at that. Is that a nasal spray? Nasacort sounds like one. It's an anti-inflammatory cort. It's like a cortisone, right? Yeah, I'll look at that. <clears throat> so I think I've been thinking a lot about maybe because I was sitting here one day feeling sorry for myself. I was uh, thinking a lot of old people, elderly, seniors like me. I'm 81. Uh, the difference in countries, how the elderly are, are thought about in different countries. And I have to say it's not that great in the USA. It's so different. Like, say, in Asian countries, is that okay to say? Uh, or in uh, Italy or Greece or, yeah, there's a big difference in how they treat their elderly and how they think about their elderly in, in the U.S. I see it. I certainly see it. So, I don't know. It's fine. Squirted up my nose. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Oh, my. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, I'm just, just an elderly person here trying to hang in there. Uh, yes, I, I may... I may try, if I feel better this week, I'm feeling better every day. So maybe if I feel better this next week or so, I may try to go to Goodwill. And like I said last week, I'm going to keep, have in my mind that I'm shopping for Poshmark. And forget about eBay. I mean, I'm listing on eBay, but, you know, I think the mindset is different. So maybe... Uh, I'm not going to get anything that's not a uh, good brand. No more factory brands or outlet brands like J. Jill Factory. I'm not going to buy that anymore, even though I sold one today. Um, but like Ann Taylor should be just Ann Taylor. And yeah, try to do that. I don't know if I'll go or not, but I keep trying to get a video out there of my garden. It'll be it'll be gone before. I my zinnias are so beautiful right now. I never planted zinnias before when I used to have big gardens. I don't know why. They are wonderful. Uh, I grew these from seed and I'm going to save the seeds from these. And, yeah, I'm going to plant a lot of zinnias next year. But they make wonderful cut flowers, and they last forever in the house. I've had the same bouquet. I just threw it out today and went and cut. I have a tiny little vase like this with a narrow mouth. So three, just three fit in there, and they sit where I sit out, out in my family room. So... I just threw the three away. It got droopy, and now I went and got three more today. I should have brought them in here, darn. So, um, yeah. My nasturtions are blooming. My Rebecca is blooming. My foxglove is the plants look wonderful, and they're a biennial, so they'll bloom next year. They are a yeah, they'll come back and bloom next year. They don't bloom the first year you plant them. 
I love foxglove. So I have gotten, I think the, the zucchini have slowed down. Thank goodness. And, uh, but there's one that I can't get to. It's as big, big as the atom bomb. It's, I can't even tell you. It's big. It's like this big around. I can't even get to it. But it's going to have a lot of seeds in. This will be for the chickens for sure. Because you can't eat them when they get that big. They're just full of seeds. So if I can't get it, I don't think I can get it. Because you know those uh, zucchini leaves are huge and they're prickly. So I can't really get to the, get to it. So maybe when the kids come out next weekend, next Saturday, Jack can go in there and get that for me. It has to weigh a ton by now. So that is all for today. I will uh, just keep plugging along here. Like I said, I'm running, pretty much running 20 and 30% off of my entire store and then 50% off of all my clearance items. And there's a lot of them that I put in there now. So, uh, yes. So I will see you sometime, maybe in the middle of the week, maybe not till next week. It depends. I'm so glad you could all join me. Thank you very much. Hi, Bumble. Yes, Bumblebee. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Well, my cleaning girl comes this week. She was she, she's been coming every other week. I I made her you know made it so she's coming every other week. But now that I have extra money from rehoming my horsey, and oh, that's what I. Did I tell you I changed insurance? Auto and I had Allstate, which I kept hearing was the most expensive insurance. Auto and home, they were bundled together. So I started looking around, and I'm now with State Farm. It's a huge difference for the auto. It's sort of the same for the home, but it's – I've – Saved almost a hundred dollars, maybe over a hundred dollars a month changing. So there's that too. So, what I think I'm going to have Samantha come every week. She may not have to clean every week, but we can, like, I don't know. She could go places with me, or she could. We could just do a little bit of a room and sort of get everything, you know, straightened out. So I need that. And it would be more company. <laughs> Jolene, my dog walker, had a fit that I didn't call her after my vertigo spell. So, yes. So I will... uh See you sometime on the next one. So thank you so much for joining. And see you then. Bye.